I'm Christopher Dominic, a Banovich guitarist, lead guitarist, and occasional synth player in rock and roll, million selling, record selling, editors, double album. And uh, this guy. Yeah, my name's Edward.o.lay. At uh, Mac.com. Mac <laughs> um, and I play drums in the million selling rock outfit editors also. We're on the main stage at Glastonbury. Uh, well, we're, we're just backstage actually. We've just finished our performance. Yeah. And, Which uh, is why our fringes are a little bit. A little bit damp. But I really enjoyed it. It was it was a physical workout. It was good. Um, training this week hasn't been up to the usual scratch, I suppose. But um, we had two days of rehearsal. Yeah, well, we? it was a bit tricky because we played on the other stage uh, last year, which is a little bit more comfortable to bands of our uh, kind of ilk. Whereas in here, the pyramid stage is like the pop stage, um, so it's a little bit difficult to win them over in the way they sort of like the, the crowd was sort of like more into the singles, and we had to win them over with the uh, album tracks. As yeah, well. they certainly embraced the hits. Um, they sure on this did. Stage. Um, but nice flags. We had lots of flags. Great flags. Here. Not seen them. Uh, before, very nation. Least. Very many nations were represented. Yeah. yeah well, mostly Wales, but mostly Wales. <laughs> And Scotland. There was a couple here and there. But there was a few. I think I spotted a Jamaican one and a Cuba. Chris hasn't been out all day because he's got these wonderful shoes on and he hasn't bought any wellies. I've been watching Wimbledon, essentially. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm essentially trapped. Because if you look over there, you'll see the fact that I can't move. Because if I do, then, you know, my suit will get ruined. I'm not going to carry And it. I'm not prepared to do that. And our, uh, our, our tour manager has got a dodgy leg, so he can't carry me. In 2005, when we both, uh, uh, when editors played their first ever show, Guys and Me, speaking in the uh, third person, <laughs> yeah, when um, me and Ed actually uh, tailed off and went to see Kasabian on the other stage. And it was like, it was just ridiculous, wasn't it? It was one of the highlights so of my good. life. <laughs> yeah. It was a. It was a. It was I a can't, ex set of this. can't describe how much I enjoyed it. It was brilliant. We were we were kind of screaming as well in that kind of like schoolboy fashion, mm, mm. and eating Ritz biscuits, which are very dry unless you've got a accompanying beverage. <laughs> but uh, you know when sort of like bands are in a time and a place of their career, and they're sort of like they do that thing where they kind of go from a like a regular band into a great festival band or a great live band, and essentially they kind of cross over into a into a into a different kind of area. That's what kind of Kasabian did that night. <clears throat> and it, I think everybody was in, in the crowd responded so well, especially to the big songs. Yeah. And it was just ridiculous how many people were enjoying it. So. It was just good fun at the end of the day. And you felt, like, you felt like part of it as well. I've, yeah. I've not been in a festival crowd since and felt <laughs> like it's been that vibing oh, right. and good. I thought you were just going to say, I've never I've been in a festival crowd <laughs> yeah, yeah. since. I never want to ruin it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm really looking forward to King to Leon later on. Mm. Uh, huge fans of them. Um, I've heard their new record's amazing, but I haven't heard it yet. Which I'm a bit jealous of that. I've been told Franz Ferdinand are playing on they the. They are. Uh, They're playing very the soon, actually. Stage, which is a surprise. 10-10. Oh, yeah. That'd so, be good. Yeah, if I had the suitable attire, I'd go and see that. Well, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the new stuff's like. So. Mm. Um, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we did a big tour with Franz, so we sort of like it would be nice to see them because we haven't seen them live for about 18 months or something. Mm, it's now. been a while. <laughs> Go on, Ed. Uh, I'm Ed and this is Chris from Editors. Thanks and we very fucking much. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really, you're alright. Hate this guy. I hate you.